Personalism is whereby in any piece of art you create, it must be completely personal to you. If you create a piece of art, it should be clear to the viewer that it is your artwork. You should not use any other artist as inspiration for your work, as this will confuse the viewer's judgement on who has created the piece of art. When creating art, it shouldn't matter what medium is used. All that matters is that when you're finished, you can look at it and say that it's 100% yours. You should be able to feel a connection to your work. The best things to create work from which would fit into the personalism manifesto would be dreams of your own, your own childhood memories and your favourite things, for example, colours, landscapes or personal objects. When creating art within the personalism movement, you must never incorporate anyone famous unless you are famous yourself. If you are creating art which includes music, it must be your own original piece of music. The same goes with moving image. You must not remix or reuse anyone else's work. An important part of this art movement is for the artists to completely open themselves up to the public. To be a part of this art movement, you must be willing to push yourself out of your comfort zones to create the most personal work possible. When creating a piece of art for the personalism manifesto, you must surround yourself with your favourite things in the, in, the, in the area you have chosen to work. This will allow yourself to get the p best possible results of you in your work. What I mean by this is that if you are surrounded by things that are personal to you, then while you're creating your work, you will be in an area where the essence of you is floating around you. You would therefore subconsciously be thinking about the other things in the room besides the art you are creating, which would then influence the art you are creating. I feel by using this method of creating art that the artists will become their own person instead of constantly standing in the shadows of those who inspire them. It's good to be inspired by other artists, but you shouldn't use that to mould the image of your work and you should use it, you should use it against your work. Make your work your work. Step out of the shadows and be seen for who you really are. As human beings, we are amazing. The trauma our bodies, mind and spirit encounter on a daily basis is amazing and we should embrace that and make the world see us for the truly incredible people we are.